Aw oh, yeah! The video for the Halo Nightfall SDCC panel is up, and it is certainly exciting to watch. I've gone through and picked out the most important bits of information, but I encourage you to watch the panel in full. A link will be in this video and in the description. So from the panel, Nightfall takes place between the events of Halo 4 and Halo 5, following the exploits of Lieutenant Commander Jameson Locke, played by Mike Coulter, and his squad. It is worth mentioning that Locke will be a playable character in Halo 5, perhaps confirming that Halo 5 will be a split campaign much like Halo 2. It was also confirmed that Coulter will be playing Locke in the game, providing the voice, the motion capture, and even the facial capture for the character. It was also confirmed that Locke would not be a Spartan in this, this whole series taking place before he becomes one. If he becomes one at the end of the series, or if that takes place between Nightfall and Halo 5, is still unclear. So, Locke is sent to a human colony called Cedra, a colony that doesn't exactly love the UNSC. In fact, in the Nightfall trailer, we can see that Locke's squad is blamed for an attack at one point. This is on you. You know that, don't you? They weren't after us, they were after you, UNSC. Because you were operating here on our soil. Anyway, Locke's crew is sent to Cedra to track down some mysterious element that kills humans exclusively. On Cedra, Locke's team is forced to cooperate with Randall Aiken, played by Steve Waddington, a commander of Cedra's Colonial Guard. Now, speaking about the Colonial Guard, they are extremely limited in their technology, which in part results in inferior armor. When I first saw photos from Nightfall, I couldn't help but notice that a number of characters seemed to have almost modern-day military body armor, and I certainly wasn't pleased. Thankfully, it seems that this was intentional to reflect the sorry state that Cedra is in. It also helps establish a real disconnect between Cedra and the UNSC. Another major character in Nightfall is a female soldier by the name of Talitha Macer, played by Christina Chong, also part of Cedra's Colonial Guard. So once on Cedra, Locke and his crew are forced to work with the Colonial Guard to track down this biological agent. To get around, they use a new vehicle called a Condor, a Pelican-like ship with a slipspace drive. This is old, abandoned UNSC tech, much like the rest of Cedran technology. So on Cedra, they track this element to an ancient hellish artifact, a severely damaged section of Installation 04 from Halo CE. When the ring was destroyed, it attempted an emergency slipspace jump, but only a part of it was able to make the jump, the rest remaining in orbit around Threshold. I've mentioned before that 343 loves to plant seeds to future plot details, and the concept of Halos making emergency slipspace jumps was first introduced in Halo Primordium two years ago. So this is where things get really interesting. Because we're on Installation 04, many have come to think that Nightfall might see the resurgence of the Flood. While not impossible, the element Locke is tracking down is said to be mined. One does not usually mine the Flood. Still, the Flood could have taken on a new form to allow it spread, and we do know that the Flood can choose whom to infect, since this biological agent is said to infect only humans. Another option has to do with the mysterious ship that crashed on Installation 04 tens of thousands of years ago. Might it have been carrying this mysterious element the insurrectionists are using in terrorist attacks? Whatever the case, what is clear is that the element is neither Forerunner or Covenant in origin. If it were, well, hello plot holes the size of Andromeda. Now, onto the Q&A. While most of it was pretty boring as we've come to expect, it wasn't all worthless. I am paraphrasing all these questions and answers, but I'm trying to keep the basic message intact. Check the full panel if you want full details. The first question was about encountering any stranded aliens from Halo CE on this fragment of the ring. This was certainly an interesting question, since anything that had been trapped on the fragment of this ring would be a very different enemy after six years, at least, on that ring. Frankie responded by pleading the fifth, but did state that the ring's environment would create many familiar dangers. One cannot help but wonder if we might encounter Sentinels at some point, too. The next question was about whether Locke was a friend or foe to the Chief, and Frankie said we'd find out next year. The final noteworthy question was concerning what sort of tech the Cedrans had access to. Frankie responded, saying that the Cedrans use a number of technologies long since abandoned by the UNSC. So, that's all the major takeaway from this panel. It was fun to watch, but I have left out a number of details about the actual production of Nightfall, so check out the full panel for those. For now, this has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.